remember the Alamo. And remember this moment. The San Antonio Spurs are NBA World Champions. Let the fiesta begin. We gotta talk about that first floor. You guys pissed me off in that first floor. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's the worst first floor I ever saw in my life. It's the best floor. Here we go. The inbound of McGinnis. Drive, stop, punch, shoot, short, no go. And the Portland Trailblazers have won the World Championship. I've never coached a better player. I've never coached a better competitor. And I've never coached a better person than Bill Walton. Once all three things came into play, we took the good team. One of the nicest collection of athletes you'll ever be around. For so long, this is what you dream about, you know. You, and now you step. I can't even talk about it. I mean, it's incredible. I'm blessed. Just blessed. It's all about the team. The team needed me to hit that shot. And they were depending on me. Man, am I lucky or what? What the hell am I doing here? The game is over. The Lakers are the world champions. The crowd is on the floor. But the Lakers are back-to-back -back champions, the first team to do so in 19 years. Back to back! Yeah! Yeah! Well, would you like to step up here and guarantee a third straight to start this off, coach? <laughs> The Pistons are the basketball champions of the world! It feels like, ooh, heaven. <laughs> like the Ohio player said, heaven must be like this. Heaven must be like this. An incredible run in the playoffs for the Houston Rockets. And we had non believers all along the way. I have one thing to say to those non believers don't ever underestimate the heart of a champion. After a two-year absence, the Chicago Bulls have regained the NBA throne, and for Michael Jordan, the king returns. 